What's up, Edge Traders? My name is Adam Winnig. In this video, we're gonna talk about everything that you possibly need to know about MetaTrader 4. This is a complete tutorial. We're gonna go through everything from A to Z, from how to download MetaTrader 4, how to log in, how to set up a demo account. We're gonna cover the market watch, the navigator, the terminal, how to open trades, how to open charts, how to change time frames, how to place trades, how to place market orders, how to place pending orders, how to modify your trades, how to draw lines and objects, adding indicators, how to save a chart as default, how to install a custom indicator, and how to install an EA. We're gonna go through everything in this video, first on desktop, and then I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial on the mobile app as well. This is the only video that you need to watch on how to use MetaTrader 4. Okay, so first things first, let's dive into it. In order to download the MetaTrader 4 terminal, then you simply need to just go to Google, type in whatever your broker is, and then type in MT4 download. It'll take you to their website and they'll have a little download button that looks something like this. Just click it and download it to your computer. Now, after you've downloaded the MetaTrader 4 app to your computer, then you're gonna get a pane that looks like this. Now, in order to actually log into your account, you can just come up here to file, and then you can go to log into trade account, and here's where you'll be able to put in your login account number, as well as your password, and then you just select the server right here. If you'd also like to open a new demo account, then you can simply just come here and you can go open an account, and you can decide with which broker you'd like to open an account, just click next, and then just go ahead and create a new demo account by filling out the information right here. Okay, so once you've actually logged into your trade account, then the next thing that you wanna understand is the market watch. The market watch is essentially all of the different currency pairs or different assets that you can possibly trade. If you click this button, it'll go away, and if you click it again, it will reappear. You can also go ahead and you can right click here and you can go ahead and click to see the spread. So you can see the spread right here. You can also right click again and you can show all the symbols that are all available like this. And you can also right click and you can also hide all of them so that none of them are available except for the charts that you have open. And then you can also come here to symbols, for example, and you can select whatever uh, currency pairs that you would like to show in your market watch by just selecting them like this and then you'll see them appear right here. Now the next thing that you'll wanna know how to use is something called the navigator, which is this pane right here, which you can simply click like this and it'll disappear, and then you can click again, it'll reappear here. Here you're gonna be able to see all of your different indicators that you wanna use, as well as your expert advisors here, all inside of the navigator pane right here. The next thing you're gonna look at is the terminal. So you can click here to make the terminal disappear and you can click it again to make it reappear. But the main tabs that you'll be using are number one, looking at the trade tab. So this will show you any active or open trades that are happening right here. You can also click on account history and you can see any trades that have been taken in the past right here. And then you can also go down here and you can look at the experts tab where if you're using an expert advisor, you can see the logs here. In, in, in regards to what's happened. But here in the journal, this is also where you can see a little bit more detailed if you are trading with any sort of expert advisors, but mostly you're probably just gonna be using the trade tab and the account history tab. So the next thing is how to actually go ahead and place a trade. So all you do is you open up the chart that you'd like to trade by right clicking on it and you can go ahead and click chart window. And essentially from this point, you can just hit this little drop down arrow and here's where you can take a trade from. So for example, you could put your lot size here to you know, whatever you'd like it to be, say 0.1. And let's just say that I wanna buy right here. The first time that you make a trade, you will have to accept these conditions and then boom, it'll just go ahead and it'll place the trade once you click buy like this. Okay, so now you can see that I'm into this trade, which is great. Another way that you can take a trade is by right clicking on the chart and then you can go to trading and you can decide how you'd like to trade. So you can click on new order here and you can either do a market order or you can do a pending order, which will allow you to then do a buy limit or sell limit or a buy stop or a sell stop, which I'm not gonna get into what all those different ones mean, but you can basically do that here. You can say at which price you'd like to enter and you can put your stop loss and your take profit right here as well. So this is just another way that you can take the trade. So the next thing that you wanna look at is how to actually change time frames. So right up here, you can decide which time frame you'd like to look at. So here you can see the H4 time frame, you can see the daily time frame, the one hour time frame, the 30 minute time frame, 15 minute time frame, whatever time frame that you'd like to see, you can check it out right here. 
So the next thing that you can do is modify an actual trade or set a take profit and stop loss this way where you can basically just click on this green line here and then you can put your stop loss to say like right here and then you could click on the green light again and you could put your take profit say up to like right here and there you've set the take profit and the stop loss really easily. You can also come down here to your terminal in the trade tab and you can right click on the trade and you can decide to put like a trailing stop loss if you'd like to or you could even modify or delete the order by changing the take profit or stop loss as you can see right here. So the next thing that we're going to cover is how to draw different lines and objects on the chart. So you can come up here to insert and you can decide if you'd like to draw like a vertical line, a horizontal line, a trend line. You can decide that here. You can also do different sort of shapes. Like for example, let's say that you want to draw like a rectangle, for example, like right here. Then you can just go ahead and draw a rectangle like that. Uh, say for example that you'd like to draw a horizontal line. They also have these shortcuts here. So let's say that we want to draw a horizontal line right there. We can draw it like that. You can also draw a vertical line just like this. And there you have a vertical line. And you can also draw a trend line, something like this. So the next thing that I'm going to show you how to do is how to use different indicators. So how you can add indicators is really simple. There's a few different ways that you can do it. You can click right here and you can decide whatever indicator that you'd like to use. So say, for example, you'd like to use something like a moving average. You can come in here and you can set, let's say you want to have like a 20 uh, exponential moving average. And let's say that you want it to show up in like this uh, dark turquoise color. You can go and you can add it just like that. You can also just come up here to the top here and you can click on indicators and you can also see the different indicators that you can add right here. So the next thing that I'm going to show you how to do is how to make your chart appear the way that you'd like to. So you can just right click on the chart and then you can come down here and you can click on properties. And here you can play with uh, how you actually want it to display. So for example, like if you don't want to have a grid, then you can, uh, you know, uh, remove the grid and have it look like this. If you want your bar up to be green, but you want your bar down to be red. So for example, I could go and I could make these, uh, uh, let's make these uh, lime green. And let's say I want a bear candle to be red again. I can go ahead and click red and then I can go ahead and click it. And there I can see it, how it looks like this. And then I can always zoom in here just like this on the chart. And also one other important thing is if you'd like to see candlesticks, which I'm assuming you would, then you can go ahead and click candlesticks. If you'd like to see a line chart, then you can also click line chart right here. Now, once you've got the chart the way that you'd like it, you can go ahead and you can click, you can right click on the chart. You go to template and you click save template. And then if you save this template as default, then anytime you go and you open a new chart, you're going to see that this default template is displayed with the moving average black with the green and red candles. Now here's how to add custom indicators and custom EAs. So you just come up here to file, then you go to open data folder, then you click on MQL4, then you click on indicators, and then you can simply just right click and you can paste your indicator right in here once you have it copied. You just paste it there. And then what you do is you come down here to the navigator tab and you go ahead and you click refresh and then you'll see your custom indicator here in this list. Now the same thing goes for expert advisors or EAs. You can come here, file, open data folder, then you go to MQL4, then you can go to experts, and then you can go ahead and simply right click and paste your expert advisor here in the experts tab. And then you come back down over to the navigator again, and you just right click and you refresh the uh, expert advisors folder and you should see your new expert advisor here in your navigator. Okay, so now I'm going to give you a quick phone tutorial of MetaTrader 4. So you can just go to the App Store and you can download MetaTrader 4. Once you download MetaTrader 4, you can come in here to Settings. And again, you can go in here to Add New Account. And you can select if you'd like to open a demo account or if you'd like to log in to an existing account. So you can just go in here. You can select your broker's terminal. Go ahead and input your information. And you can open up a demo account if you'd like to or log into your live account just by clicking Log into Existing Account just like this. Now, once you're logged in, it's going to look something like this. 
And here you're gonna basically be able to see a bunch of different symbols. You can click the plus button on the top right and you can add any certain currencies that you'd like to see here just by clicking on the add button right here. And then you can come on down here and you could click on charts. And here you're able to basically take a look at what the chart looks like on the top left. You can go ahead and you can change the time frame to whatever time frame you'd like to draw, uh, see the chart in. You can also use the crosshairs here by using this tool here. And you can also draw objects by clicking that little object. So if you'd like to draw like a horizontal line, then you can draw a horizontal line. If you'd like to, uh, you know, draw a trend line, then you can draw a trend line. Uh, however you'd like to use these different objects here. Now you can also click on the history tab where you can see all of your trade history here. You can also click on the trade tab and you can see any open trades that you would be in right now. And if you'd like to place a trade, there's a couple ways that you could actually do that. You can come down here to quotes and then you can click on the currency that you'd like to trade. You can either look at the chart or you can select take a trade. You can put your lot size in right here and you can also decide you know, how you'd actually like to execute this, either a market order or a limit order. And that's about everything that you need to know on how to actually use the MT4 app on your phone. Now, with that being said, I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, then feel free to check out some of the other really helpful videos that we've put together on our channel right here.